This is Tonga. Well, some of it. Tonga has a king. His name is George. He has been king since September of 2006, which is a funny coincidence because since September 2006, I've been over 25 years old. Isn't in the world a strange and magnificent place? Tonga having a king means it is a kingdom. That doesn't explain why England isn't a queendom, but whatever. King George is in charge of 170 islands that all make up his kingdom. Only 36 islands are inhabited though, so that makes it easier. The Tongan Kingdom is also known as the Friendly Islands. This is encouraging, because I come from Canada, and we're known as the friendly altogether too large wide open space that is cold most of the time, but really nice between June and September usually. So I think we'll have a lot in common. But why all the talk about Tonga? I've started to put my logic machine to work and have started piecing together things about the CC Hide Case adventure. I figure since Tonga was the secret location that all of the awesome riddles were pointing to, and since the contest is to go on a voyage to find the hidden case of Canadian Club, I'm guessing that the adventure probably starts in Tonga. It seems like a pretty spectacular starting place. It's somewhere between Hawaii and New Zealand, which, of course, puts it right in the middle of awesome. I'm convinced that making it onto the show will be worth it just to visit the Kingdom of Tonga. You may have noticed that I mentioned the adventure starting in the Kingdom of Tonga. This is because I think I may know how the adventure week will play out. I've taken a few things into consideration. First, the whole adventure will be filmed. There's going to be eight people running around trying to find and solve riddles while being filmed. I don't know if you've ever tried to film something, but to get something worth showing people, you have to film quite a bit of boring stuff too. This takes time, and since the adventure is only a week long, there's no time for dilly-dallying in airports and customs. This means that the final hiding place of the Canadian Club case is somewhere near the Kingdom of Tonga. But at the very least, you can only budget in one full day of airports. Second, this competition isn't new. The Canadian Club hide a case adventure actually started in 1967, when Canadian Club hid eight cases throughout the globe and gave hints in magazine advertisements as to their location. This has happened a few more times since, and to date, there are 22 cases hidden throughout the world. Most have been found, but six are still out there. One of those cases is on Robinson Crusoe Island, which is between Hawaii and New Zealand. It's only 850 kilometers, or 530 miles, away from Tonga. Third, it's what I would do. A major part in deciding where to film anything is location. Where are you going to shoot something like this? The South Pacific seems pretty awesome. It's tropical, but not too hot. And the place is gorgeous. And there are miles upon miles of beaches and oceans. For a producer, it would be like a vacation. But it's also their job. Needless to say, this seems to be pretty exciting. The more I try to figure stuff out, the more excited I become and hopeful that I will be chosen. I can taste this I want it so bad. Which brings me to my video. I'm pretty happy with it so far. A few of my friends have been helping me out, and I think it gets my point across as well as being fun to watch. There's still a few things I'd like to do, but it's pretty close to being done. It has some funny stuff in it, and some things that I think may not be in other people's videos. I hope it gets picked as a finalist so you guys can get to see it. And if it helps, drink Canadian Club whenever you drink socially, but never ever drink a drive. <laughs>